How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. It's Saturday, day before Juneteenth, and life is good, right? You all know me that the only time that I really talk about celebrities or um, athletes or anything of that nature, it's when they're making money moves on any specific level. So today I'm talking about Mr. Shaquille O'Neal, who is known for being a great basketball player, rapper, actor, and owns up to 30 different businesses. Man's making moves on a regular basis, makes knows the idea of making money in his sleep and how to manage it all at the same time, all right? Mr. O'Neal is actually worth up to $40 million, family. Um, the article stated that Shaq was already representing the Reebok brand uh, when he um, had an encounter with a woman while um, he was on the court. In his words, he said the lady ripped him basically a, a new one. Apparently, the uh, woman was upset at the price of the Shaq endorsed Reeboks and decided to take her frustrations out on the player turned entrepreneur. Shaq stated that he had $2,000 in his pocket. He said, lady, I don't make the prices. Here you go. And she smacked the money out of his hand and said, why don't you mother effers, because I'm not going to say the word, make, make a shoe that's uh, affordable. Um, now, Shaq handled this in a different way than I would have, but hey, he's a better person than me, so I leave it at that. Now, I think this was a special, this was special in all itself, especially um, I know that there is a sneakerhead community out here. I really just found out about this last year during the pandemic um, because there was a documentary on Netflix, because you know Netflix has all the new documentaries now. And I am such a plain guy when it comes to apparel, when it comes to clothing that I buy basic sneakers compared to the most. Only thing that stands out on me usually is the t-shirts that I wear. So I cannot understand the frustrations of not being able to purchase a specific basketball player's shoe. I've never even owned a pair of Jordans in my life and probably never will because it ain't that serious. I also um, the article also stated that Shaquille O'Neal, however, didn't take this as a sign of disrespect. Rather, he said it, um, said that uh, he took this as a teachable moment and realized that he couldn't endorse Reeboks. Uh, even with the $40 million price tag for his endorsement, he says, I was like, you know what? This, this um, older lady is right. So that day, he cut ties with Reebok and started his own brand. He recalled. Uh, he, said, I, uh, I, he said, I kept the money. This isn't right. Um, I still wear the shoes I wear during the season, but I will be looking to do my own thing. So he started the Shaq brand, he, um, and he basically it went to his favorite stores like Walmart, and he did a deal. He was all in all stores, and he says his price point for the shoes was $29 to $19. And since we sold over 4 million pairs, he says it's not it's not kids that don't want it want to wear twenty dollars shoes. It's that they don't want to wear shoes that look like they cost twenty dollars, and that's true. I can definitely understand that all at the same time. And hey, I have much power and love and respect to the sneakerhead community out there because you know, hey, um, you got, everybody has their thing, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people in sports, some people in the shoes, some people in the whatever jewelry, some people into um, digital products. We got we all got our vice in this world, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I understand why Shaq did what he did. And at the end of the day, no matter how much money one has, if they are in good conscience, um, look in the mirror in the morning, and then there's some, you know, that you know, then there's something wrong. If you can't in good conscience look in the mirror in the morning and say, "Hey, I'm proud of what I do every day. Hey, I'm not making the world a worse place and things of that nature." So I respect that. The article ended on this note. Obviously, Sha Shaquille O'Neal made the right decision by cutting ties with Reebok. Um, his subsequent deals with companies like Auntie Anne's, Papa John's, and, and Playboy um, gave him a net worth of up to $400 million, actually. The deal with Reebok was for $40 million, but he has a net worth of up to $400 million. So Shaq, please keep up the great work. And I got nothing but love and respect for that. Um, because especially, it, it comes a time in your life, hey, you, when is enough enough? You know, it's like when you're... When you created enough generational wealth for yourself, your kids, grandkids, and their grandkids, kids, blah, 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 so on, et cetera, so forth, I get it, I respect it, and all at the same time, you know, you got to do what you have to do in this life, you know, to make, to not only make ends meet, but you have to do what you have to do in this life to not be overly greedy either, you know, it's like DMX said, rest your soul, y'all been eating long enough now, stop being greedy, Just keep it real, partner, give to the needy, don't touch that, uh-uh, leave it alone, when you walk past the doghouse, give it a bone. So anyways, um, 
There'll never be another DMX. That's why I had to quote him on that one. So rest in peace to the king. Um, but at the end of the day, I respect Shaq's decision. And, you know, I, I say keep making the money moves that you're doing and doing it, everything in good conscience so that you can sleep at night and your family can be proud of you all at the same time. All right. So keep up the good work. Let us anything goes. We sell a variety of products via my Shopify store. So definitely check us out. Also part of the Gold Standard Partners, where you not only have the opportunity to buy crypto, but you have the opportunity to invest it all at the same time. And if you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, think about signing up with Webull, Stash, Acoin, uh, Acorns, um, Crypto.com, Webull, uh, Coinbase, and all that good stuff. With all those platforms, when you sign up, you'll be able to make some money. And hey, that's what it's all about. But if not, it's all good. And just do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Remember... You can't get fired if you own your own company. It's 2022. We're about to be going into 2023. It's time for you to own something, all right? Take care, and as always, say, make money moves, or you're going to live broke like a fool. Take care, family.